In this video we're going to have a look at the hill tools. There's three hill tools just here and each one has a different purpose and lots of different options. First of all we're going to have a look at the up down tool. At its simplest all we have to do is click and you can see it starts to create hills. If I move you can see the hills that it's created. If I want to get rid of them I right click and it's as easy as that, easy as that. Now the main options on this are the brush shapes. So you can either have a circular brush shape to create a circular hill like this, or you can have a sort of fuzzier one which creates a, a sort of mound. And if again, if I circle round, you'll be able to see what kind of mound that's creating and then you've got an even fuzzier one which creates a, a mound that's that shape and then you've got these last two so the first one of which just roughens the terrain and if I make the brush much bigger you'll be able to see that the brush is kind of random and what happens when you use this brush is it just makes the terrain ever so slightly lumpy so you can see it makes it look perhaps a little bit more realistic by making it lumpy now the last one we're going to have to use the ground painter tool to show us how this works so I'm going to zoom out on this side and we're just going to use the ground painter tool with a small brush and we're going to paint a nice pattern onto here like this and it can be a bit of an irregular pattern as well now I can use this tool with the magic brush you can tell it's magic because it's got a magic wand and the magic brush again same as the previous one does the same action to everything of the same color so what that means is if I zoom in a bit oh, if I zoom in a bit and uh, zoom, then you should be able to see that it raises just this bit exactly the same amount. Or if I click on the green, it raises the green by the same amount. Just like this. So you can start to create structures using this technique. There's two other tools in here, and they also have the same set of brushes. I'm just going to use the simple square brush. The first one is the smooth or level tool, and then the last one is the spiky tool or the roughen tool. And you can see the spiky tool makes things spiky, just like that. And again, you can change the brushes. And the smooth tool smooth things down again so it tries to average out the heights to make it somewhat less spiky and that's the use of those tools they're both quite easy uh, there's no and there's no problem with any of them just try and work carefully and remember choose your colors wisely so that you can select different parts of the terrain have a go and enjoy